Let us begin by finding out more about the background of the Australian medical device sector. In Australia, this sector represents a very significant proportion of the overall biomedical and health technology market. In 2007, there are approximately 650 medical device companies in Australia. Of these, 55 were listed on the Australian Stock Exchange. The medical device industry was valued at 12.4 billion Australian dollars in 2007. In 2009, the Australian market had sales of around 6 billion Australian dollars and an export revenue of 1.7 billion. The number of employees in the medical device sector exceeds 17,500. Since 1990, IVDs have been regulated in Australia under the Therapeutic Goods Act of 1989 and the Therapeutic Goods Regulations, 1990. Very few tests, with the exception of HCV and HIV, required any form of pre-market assessment. The TGA felt that the current system did not keep pace with the complexity or perceived risk of use of new diagnostic tests. They proposed a new risk-based classification scheme and regulations modelled on the GHTF. Effective 1st of July 2010, the Therapeutic Goods Medical Devices Amendment Regulations 2010, the MD Amendment Regulations, and the Therapeutic Goods Amendment Regulations 2010, the TG Amendment Regulations, came into effect. The MD Amendment Regulations and the TG Amendment Regulations amend the Therapeutic Goods Medical Devices Regulations 2002 and the Therapeutic Goods Regulations 1990, respectively. The MD Amendment Regulations implement a new regulatory framework for in vitro diagnostic medical devices, IVD medical devices, or IVDs under Chapter 4 of the Therapeutic Goods Act 1989, and provide for the transitioning over a four-year period from the previous regulatory framework for IVDs to the new regulatory framework. The TG Amendment Regulations implement consequential amendments that reflect the changes in the regulatory framework applying to IVD medical devices. The underlying risk-based principles applying to the new IVD regulations are modelled on the GHTF. Something unique is that the approval process results in the entry of the device in the Australian Register of Therapeutic Goods, ARTG. The Therapeutic Goods Act 1989 Regulations and Orders set out the requirements for inclusion of therapeutic goods in the ARTG, including advertising, labelling, product appearance and appeal guidelines.